Ang didiscuss natin today is uh, chapter 9, which is how are you going to create the explosion? Okay, so nung nakaraan, we already discussed how are we going to create uh, the stagger. So gumawa na tayo ng stagger last time. So ngayon, what if gagawa tayo ng explosion? No? Yung, yung how are you going to create yung parang uh, an effect that that would going to blast yung uh, ano natin uh, yung pile of rock natin so I have here an example so gagawin natin is here na no, open your chapter eight and Save it as chapter 9. So, this time. So, remember yung pile of rock natin. Ito. No? So, gagawa lang tayo ng smoky effect para kapag ka nag-zap siya, nag-disappear siya, no? uh, it would create an illusion or an effect na parang naglaho yung, yung, yung pile of rock natin kapag ka once na inihipan nung, nung, nung alien natin. So, again, no? you, you open the chapter 8 and then save it as chapter 9. Okay, so, example, no? here. No? Meron akong ginawa dito. Uh, here, no? uh, eto, yan. No? Gumawa na ako ng, dun sa stagger niya, gumawa na ako ng effect na, na smoke. No? etong effect na smoke na to, ano lang naman to eh. Uh, din drawing ko lang true brush no now let's go to the scene no sa scene 0 10 natin dito natin makikita yung uh, smoke natin okay gumawa tayo ng layer na fx okay yung tinatawag nating fx so create a layer for explosion no so name it as fx tapos okay here Okay, you could double click this. Okay. Ito, double click natin. Okay. Inside that, gumawa na ako ng, ng explosion effect. So, pwede natin kopyahin to. I already provided here kung, kung, kung gusto natin kopyahin. Kasi medyo matagal siya pagkagagawin, no? Medyo matagal yan. Uh, it would consume time. So... Ang ginawa ko is, I already provided you guys the, the shape, no? Ayan, drawing nyo kasi yan, eh. So, etong una na to, ilalagay natin sa layer 1, eto. So, drawing natin yan sa layer 1. As a frame 1, then F7 ka lang doon, okay? Then, drawing mo ulit to, no? Hindi mo naman siya i -re resize eh. drawing mo siya. Okay, kasi medyo... Iba-iba uh, yung shape nila. Tapos, frame 3, ganyan yung itsura. Frame 4. Okay, frame 5. And frame 6. Okay, yung palaho na siya. No? Then, frame 7, blank lang. Okay? Kailangan meron kang F7 dito. Nag-F7 ka dito. So, make sure na ganito yung itsura ng layer natin. So, it, it, would, it would just create an illusion na parang masabog lang using uh, uh, smoke. Now, once na okay na yun, babalik ka lang dito sa scene 10 mo. Okay? Now, I'll be demonstrating how are you going to to, to uh, have this one, no? Okay? Kasi pagka plinay natin yan, ganito itsura. Eh. Okay? So, sasabog lang siya, mabilis, tapos, hindi naman na wala yung pile of rock natin doon. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, let's have the PowerPoint. Okay. So here, okay, so create the 6 frame explosion. Now here, F7 on pile, uh, last frame. Dito kasi, hanapin natin yung pile natin. So yung pile natin, itong iba lock natin para hindi natin tamaan. So, here, dapat pagsabog doon, dito, yung sa file natin, dito. 
Okay, here. Kasi dito rin mag stop yung stagger natin eh. So here, kailangan naka F7 na tayo dito. So F7 para blank keyframe, no? So nung ganyan, pak, okay, nawala na yung yung pile of rock natin. Kaso masyadong mabilis yung yung ano eh. Okay. Ayan o. Oh. Okay, masyadong mabilis. So lagyan natin ng konti pang effect smoke. Smoke effect. So okay na tayo dito. Ayan, lock na natin yan. In here, we could do some, pwede i-cover natin tong i-cover natin tong pile of rock. So create tayo ng another layer. One, two, ilang layer yung kailangan natin. So we'll have one, two, three, four. Additional four layers. So one, two, three, four. So we could do X. Actually, X. X. Then X. Okay. Ang gagawin natin dito. So, ito kasi here, dito. Yung start natin dito, yan na yun, no Yan na yung in here, naka, naka ano na siya agad. Frame 3. Pwede natin tong start ng 1 muna. Okay. Then, ganyan. Yan, no? Frame 1. Then, F6 lang tayo dito. Okay. F6 tayo dito. In here, naka-frame 2. No? Pero yung ginawa natin frame dito sa pangalawang effects, i-angat lang natin siya doon. Okay, para doon siya. Tapos pwede natin itong ilayo. Okay, we could do... Pwede natin siyang i-outline para makita natin. Then we could just... Yan, pwede natin... Yan. Para ma-cover up lang yung ano. Para ma-cover up lang yung pile. Yeah, do that. Pwede dito. Pwede doon. Okay. So, kayong bahala magtansya kung saan. So, here. This is frame 3. 1, 2, 3, ito. Pwede ako dito mag F6 ulit. Tapos angat ko lang dito. Yan. Okay. So, I could just make it smaller here. Kaya dito. Para medyo makocover up lang yung file natin. Then, for the last one, 1, 2, 3, 4, F6 tayo dito. And give it here. Yan. Pwede natin siya. We'll actually use the shift key para. Yan. Yan. So, pagka tignan natin yung effect. Dahil dun sa inad natin. Okay, yan. Oh. Diba? So, it would be much. Okay realistic yung pag pagsabog ng smoke natin doon. Okay, pagka-planein natin. Oof. Okay. So this is uh, much much okay, no? Kesa doon sa kanina. So pagka-tenas natin siya dito sa scene natin. Okay. And then at control enter tayo. Ayun. Okay. So yan, no? Pagka in-slow mode natin yun, mas makikita natin yung effects nung smoke natin. So, pa konti uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, idea on how are you going to create series of um, uh, effects dun sa ano natin, uh, ginagawa nating animation. Okay? So, next is, syempre habang umiihip siya, okay, sa so save lang natin to. Habang umiihip siya, halimbawa, uh, we want to uh, make yung parang fire, bubuga siya ng fire. Okay, gawa natin ng ganun, no? So, yan. Actually, may XC lang. Okay. Open lang natin yung isa pang PowerPoint natin. 
So this time using paintbrush yung gagamitin natin, no? Meron kasing preloaded na paintbrush si Animate that we could actually use para para magawa natin yung yung series of effects. Na hindi natin pahirapan yung mga sarili natin. So we'll just go to use default paintbrush na meron and then from that yun yung ito-tweak natin ng content. Okay, so open ulit natin yung chapter 9 natin, yung kanina. And then, uh, no, uh, duplicate natin yun and then save it as chapter 10. So, ito. Punin ko lang yung ating chapter 10. Okay. So, I already duplicated it. So, yeah, no? Okay. Now, lagyan natin siya ng parang uh, fire, fire effect. Yan kasi, okay na siya eh. Yan, no? nag-zap na siya. Oof. Okay, pero gusto natin yung parang habang habang iniihi pa niya to, may effect na may lumalabas na fire dun sa bibig ng character natin. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Okay, so let's have this PowerPoint presentation. On scene 10, okay, add tayo ng layer at gawin natin tong uh, we add a layer and then name it as fire. Okay, scene 10. Okay, double click na lang natin yun. Anyway, okay, scene 10 and then angat lang natin ito ng konti para. Okay, so CDFX lahat yun, nandun na, lock natin yun para hindi natin. Uh, uh, we, could, we could actually create the layer uh, at the top of the alias, pwede na ito. Okay. Let's name it as fire. Okay. Now, once na okay na to, okay, gusto natin dito pa lang, dito pa lang sa part na to. Pagka once na umihip na siya, doon lalabas yung fire here. So, somewhere in zap. Okay, start natin dun sa zap. Okay. So, yan, no? F7 on zap align. Okay, here. So, fire tayo. In here, F7 tayo dito to insert blank keyframe. Okay, yan, no? And then, click on brush, pick red, the go to brush library, and ang gagamitin natin is yung dry ink 2. Okay, so, yan, I already pick red, so pwede ako mamili the pick red. And then here, brush tool. Okay. Mm. On my brush tool, go to window. Window. And then brush library. Papakita niyo yung brush library natin. Ito siya. We could click the artistic, then ink. Yan, no? These are the uh, possible na pwede mong magamit na type of brushes. No? Actually, marami yan eh. All you have to do is to just explore it and mga yan, no? Okay. Now, in artistic kasi, meron ka ng pwedeng magamit dito, no? Like, for example, this one, pwede natin siya gawin parang fiery effect na to. So, double click lang natin to okay. para pumunta rito sa manage brushes natin. Okay, so here, we could actually create it. Ayan, no? pagka-clinic ko yan, okay, eh, hinit ko na. Okay, ayun na yung effect ng brush. Kaso hindi nyo masyadong makikita kasi naka-one yan. Pagka nilakihan natin yan, just like that. Yeah, okay, yan. So, yan, no? So, yan yung effect na gusto natin. Now, meron akong nilagay dito ang exact size ng brush. Eh. So, you could use the 42.75 para okay, the 42.75 I've then draw the flame a total of 4 layers of flame so here we could actually start creating the, the flame 
Mm-hmm. Zoom in natin para mas makita. Okay. We could here, we could uh, uh, here, pwedeng maliit muna. Yeah. Tapos mm-hmm. oh, yeah. pwedeng dito uh, F7 tayo. Somewhere here. Yan. Tapos here. F7 ulit. Pinatansya ko lang to. No? You could do the same thing. Then. Okay. Then here. Yung mga dalawang seven. Tapos yan. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now we could actually make a shape twin para dito, no? Pwede natin gawin gawa ng shape twin to para uh, shape twin. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Uh, shape twin. Shape natin to. Shape twin. Bakit? malalapit. Kasi nga mabilis yung fire, no? So, mabilis yung fire effect natin. Kaya nilalapit natin. Tapos ito, pansinin natin na iwan dito yung fire. Kailangan natin i-delete to. Itong, i-clear natin tong frames na to. Okay? Yan. So, yan. So, okay. Yan. So, pero, hindi pa, hindi pa tapos. So, kung gusto nyo i-edit to, pwede nyo namang i-edit to. Okay, pwede nyo i-transform. Ayan, pwede nyo i-transform. Okay. Okay, so here. You could. Okay, pwede nyo. Pwede nyo i-move. Pwede nyo i-move. Okay. Oh, yeah, no? Now, eto, gusto natin madaming effect, no? madaming effect. Pwede tayo magdagdag pa ng isa pang layer here. Okay. And eto, pwede natin siyang copy. Alt lang natin. Pero mag-overlap sila somewhere here. Tapos, ilock natin to. Okay, so here, pwede natin palitan ng kulay. Let's say, Siyempre, medyo... Okay, we could do yung parang yellow. Yellow fire naman yung itsura niya. Para... So, look at that. Okay. Ayan. Ito, pwede mong palitan yan. At pwede mong lakihan. Ganun. Pwede mong pabain. Sa iyo. Anong itsura. Okay. Ito. Ito, pwede mong ear. Ito. Pwede mong lakihan din. Okay. Ito, ikikiro ulit natin ito. Okay. Frames ulit natin yon Ayan. Pagkatinas natin yan. Okay, mabilis. No? So, mag-add ulit tayo ng isa pang fire. Para dun sa... A total of 4 frames yung gagawin natin parang fire effect. Ito, pwede na natin i-cap dito eh. Okay, isa pang fire para isa. Okay, so, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yeah. So, mag-at lang natin. Now, itong dalawang to. Ayan. Pwede na natin copy to. 
ng mantir. Yan. Tapos remove na lang natin ito. Sino pwede mo namang extend yan? No? It would be parang tuloy-tuloy yung pag ano niya. Okay, so, gaganin nyo natin yan. Okay. Boom. Okay. So, yun. No? So, pagka chinect natin dun sa scene natin, zoom out lang natin ang content. You try to, ano, you try to experiment on on this, no? Okay, mas maganda, mas yung my experience niya on how. Oof. Okay. Ang ganad, no? At inesting natin. So, enter. Okay. Pwede nyong lakihan yung, yung fire effect. Pwede nyong lakihan yun. Okay, nasa sa inyo. Kung ma mas mahaba, mas okay. Okay, nasa sa inyo. Now, after which, nang ginawa natin to, di ba, ginawa na natin yan, no? May ipapadagdag ako sa inyo, pero hindi ko, hindi ko nagagawin. Okay, it's up to you on how, no? Ang gusto ko is, after mag-zap dito, after mag-sumabog, since parang fire yon, merong usok na angat. So, pakita ako sa inyo yung ginawa. Okay. So, Hindi ko papakita yung instruction on how, pero gagawin nyo on your own. Kasi pangit naman yung, halimbawa, laging uh, spoon-fed lahat, no? So, instead of doing that, no? Titignan ko kung paano nyo didiskartehin yung, yung ganito. Okay? So, halimbawa, gagawa lang kayo ng smoke effect. Okay, ano? Okay, so. Oh, yan. Okay, so yun, no? So, just simple smoke effect na parang madidissolve pagka uh, mag siya. So, ganun yung gagawin natin, no? So, ibig sabihin, yung activity natin, tatlo yun, no? Gagawa natin ng uh, smoke effect, yung ganito, yung explosion effect, tapos yung fire, Tapos, yung smoke na tataas. Okay? So, yan yung gagawin natin. Okay? So, on your activity, okay, may dalawa kayong susundan. Yung isa, it's up to you. Discuss nyo on how are you going to do it. Okay? So, yan, no? Okay, I'll see you on our next class.